Hello guys, this is Mauro from Printfotech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 14971. Uh, this is another test preview for the uh, Creators update that will release in early 2017. Uh, there are not too many changes. Uh, technically there is not new features for uh, the operating system but quite a few new additions that I wanted to point, the, uh, point them out to you. Uh, first, I'm going to start with uh, Microsoft Edge because now um, Microsoft added support for EPUB uh, file support. Uh, this is the same as like um, when you were with PDF. It's kind of the same deal. So now you will be able to open eBooks uh, with the uh, EPUB uh, extension on the web browser without needing an extra, like an additional uh, software. As you can see, I have opened one of the uh, books that are feel, um, uh, freely available on Microsoft. So I just uh, I opened this one. I opened the uh, EPUB uh, version of uh, the Security and Privacy um, uh, eBook, and I have it open right here. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. And if you click, you get a, a clean uh, user interface where you can read. You can scroll up and down with the mouse to move through pages and when you need to change some of the settings you simply uh, click on the uh, the content and now we see the um, uh, these options that we have we got this part right here with the title of the uh, of the book and we can browse uh, the, uh, the table of contents and just move through uh, each section how uh, we can actually uh, also uh, bookmark the page and then when we want to come back to that we just simply come back uh, come here open the uh, bookmarks and it will show you where you bookmark where you bo bookmark it and the time that uh, when that happened so when you want to return let's say if you just move to another section and then click the bookmark and you're back where you left off you also have a bar to uh, just move between sections and you can also use the arrows on the sides to do the same thing you can also change the uh, the font size uh, the font style we got a few not a lot but we do have a, a few uh, fonts that we can change and we have three themes to uh, to choose from white or even black so that's what's uh, how it looks like uh, reading an EPUB on Microsoft Edge and now let's move on to uh, paint uh, we know for a while that Microsoft has been working on a new version of paint and which is called paint 3d I don't know if in the future they're just going to call it paint but uh, on this version, what's happening is Microsoft is making the uh, Paint 3D preview as the default uh, Paint app, removing the old version from the operating system. Now, if you come to the Start menu or Cortana and try to look for Paint, you will find the uh, the icon for the uh, for the old version. But this one will do when you click that; it will just simply open uh, Paint 3D. So we're expecting now with this change that on when the uh, creators update releases that we're no longer going to see the uh, uh, the old version of Paint, and that's basically what's going on on the um, with that app. And other small change that's happening on this bill is that now when you um, when you open the uh, power uh, power user menu, now the um, Windows PowerShell it's the uh, default we no longer have the uh, command prompt of course you can uh, you can change that uh, settings if you like going to uh, the settings up and then going to personalization and going to taskbar and you can change right here just uncheck this turn that off and if we come here we have the uh, command prompt again but what's happening is that uh, Microsoft is slowly uh, fading now command prompt in favor in favor of the um, of PowerShell now even when we go to uh, file explorer 
and we try to go to file now we're going to see uh, open PowerShell right here on the menu where it used to be uh, the option for command prompt and all the other places where you uh, were able to open a command prompt now they're being replaced with the uh, Windows uh, PowerShell that doesn't mean that you can just go to the uh, to, to the start menu and just type your uh, CMD and start the command prompt but Microsoft wants you to move out of that and start using more uh, PowerShell also if um, if you used to open uh, command prompt on um, using the address bar you can you can still do that and but you can also I think you can also do the uh, PowerShell yes right there so you have the uh, PS for PowerShell so you're using the PowerShell right here and here we're using the uh, command prompt so those you know that's another way to get to the um, command prompt if you want to so now let's move on to the um, third and last actually fourth fourth and last uh, change on this uh, Windows 10 built 14971 and that's the now we have a new version of the uh, uh, get office app Microsoft updated the app so uh, instead of just being uh, a link to get you to move to uh, to office if you don't have it installed now it's an actual application like a like an office uh, hub where you can go and uh, manage your account you can just go there and you you have you have all the uh, uh, subscription benefits for office 365 and you can actually uh, move on to programs for example and because I don't have any apps installed here I can easily uh, install them but just click install but I'm not gonna do that this is a test machine I don't need to install them but uh, if you want to you individually you can just come and install it right here uh, you can actually go to documents and and browse your um, uh, more recent documents and open with the um, with the appropriate uh, application of uh, from office and you also have a section for help and training so if you uh, need some help uh, you can come here and access the uh, the forums or contact Microsoft uh, for any kind of training and uh, training you also have a feedback where you can uh, tell Microsoft if you like the app or not and this is the uh, version is the uh, 17761423770 uh, so that's basically all that's new on this bill one thing I forgot to mention is that now on Microsoft Edge on previous build like we knew that Microsoft added a, um, a snooze button so you can create a reminder about a page that you're reading to get reminded later to read it but apparently they didn't, uh, they didn't catch up with users so Microsoft decided to remove it so starting on build 14971 you no longer have uh, this uh, this news uh, button anymore and that's basically all that's new uh, just I uh, wanted to like show you really quick what what's going on on the latest preview of Windows of, of the Windows 10 creators update I just uh, hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing